Good afternoon, everybody. Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Hopefully everyone's having a good weekend here. Before I start, I want to apologize. I meant to have this video up in the morning, but between last season and this season, there is one thing that I forgot. The ensemble mo models, which I like to use for tropical development, they upload at different times, and I completely forgot. I was thinking, okay, maybe at 8 o'clock the video, maybe I could start making a video. Come to realize yeah those models don't upload until like lunchtime so i was thinking okay maybe 12z 12z didn't upload until about maybe 20 or 30 minutes ago so yeah i have to uh have to adjust to that again so apologies there but in any case though do have some good news as far as tropical developments concerned whether it's the atlantic or the eastern pacific not expecting much of anything to happen over the course of the next seven days great news because remember the forecast is ex is calling for an extremely active season maybe even record breaking so seeing an early seeing a uh, slow start is a good thing hopefully we can continue to kind of go through this stretch without much issue typically though for the month of june anyway we especially in the atlantic we only average about a storm every two years it kind of varies a little bit more towards the pacific but in any case a big part of why we aren't dealing with much in the way of tropical development is due to wind shear. With hurricanes, you want less wind shear. Tornadoes is a little bit different. They kind of feed off of that wind shear and, of course, other conditions. But with tropical systems, the stronger the wind shear, the more likely the storm tops are likely to be blown off of the storms. And right now, especially as we go further down the line in the short term, a lot of wind shear over our main development areas here. The main development region here just off of west coast of Africa, heading all the way towards the Caribbean. Strong wind shear across the board here, and that's going to continue to be the case here. And if you don't want to take my word or even the GFS Ensemble's word for it, we can also look at the Euro. The uh, European Ensemble is showing a pretty similar look here. Some pretty good model, so a pretty good model continuity, to say the least, between the two models here. So in the short term, I wouldn't be concerned about anything, but an interesting thing that I've seen across the board on both models as we go further down the line is once we get towards the middle part of the month and towards the back half, we do begin to see the wind shear begin to lighten up around the Gulf. Towards the main development region, we still have plenty of strong wind shear here. Towards the Caribbean, it's very similar to the look, but that too begins to change as we go further into that, this uh, model run here we start to see the wind shear begin to lighten up here. And this is a sign that I'm a little bit concerned about because like I said, the lighter the wind shear, the better the environment for tropical development. And I don't know if you noticed, but as far as the ocean temperatures are concerned, our surface temps were well above where we would need to be for tropical development. Usually if you're in the green here, about 23 to 24 degrees Celsius, which would be close to 80 degrees Fahrenheit that is the threshold number we're getting into the 90s in fahrenheit over here so exceptionally warm water over here towards the gulf and towards the caribbean and then also we have the main development region starting to heat up too so gonna have to keep an eye on this wind shear as we get further down the line there are of course other variables that go into it but in any case though whether we're looking at the european ensemble or the gfs ensemble definitely seeing a signal to where the tropics could potentially wake up down the line here's another look at that gfs ensemble as we go further into the month here the wind shear holds up a little bit better but in time that too does start to diminish even towards the main development region so like i said keep your eyes open towards maybe the end of the month more so than anything else right now i wouldn't be too excited about anything because of the simple fact that we're still very far out but seeing this look, especially given the fact that we're going to start to see more ridging over the eastern half of the U.S., it does kind of coincide well with the potential for this wind shear to start lighting up. If we were getting more active storm systems to go over the U.S. as a whole here, I think we would still have some stronger wind shear. Typically, that's what would tend to happen. But as we get towards the summer, you never know how the pattern could flip. So that's going to play another part in our uh, tropical activity as we go through the rest of this month and even into july but in any case though 
let's go ahead and take a look at what our ensemble members are looking like for our pressure areas the main thing you want to pay attention to are the red numbers and the isobars that will be right here if you start to see a red area an area of red numbers begin to develop especially if you see a bunch of them with isobars starting to surround them becoming tighter over time that's usually a good indicator for tropical development in the short term we don't really see much of anything get going we could see areas of low pressure form but i haven't seen anything in particular that's caught my eye that's of great concern you see this little area of brighter colors here but you also see little bits of high pressure in there as well so not much certainty in regards to what to expect in the short term there so the first real sign of danger isn't even showing up yet which is great news I am starting to think though that eventually we are going to start to see a pattern that will a lot for the main development region to open up here because we do see this area of high pressure here these air, these numbers in the blue that is going to allow for that east to west motion the uh, easterly winds to kind of kick in here now if the wind shear weakens over this region like it's expected to with the GFS ensemble may get some earlier signs of development here towards the parts these parts of western africa this is of course like i said before the main development region so this is going to be the area that we end up watching especially as we get later towards the season for tropical development but right now i think most of our attention is probably going to be diverted more so towards closer to home but in any case just for a little bit of continuity here we're going to go ahead and take a look at the european ensemble and for the most part see pretty much similar continuity here not much in the way of development in the short term here close to home or anywhere see that predominant high pressure area over here just hanging around in the northern atlantic as time goes on do you start to see increasing amounts of activity here maybe a couple areas of low pressure do try to develop but i don't see anything that is of a tropical entity at this time here either so just really a quick rundown of what we're looking at currently and some of the signs that may lie ahead here keep in mind that european ensembles are a lot like the operational runs in regards to their upload times about six hours apart i just need to figure those times out more so i can schedule those videos better but in any case though off to a quiet start hoping it continues to be that way things do i do anticipate things eventually to pick up as we get towards the back half of the month and it of course ends in july but in any case, though, hope you guys have an awesome rest of your weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit that share button. Make sure you get that notification bell on as well. Till next time, Tyre Metalhead Weatherman signing off.